everyone, Father Jared coming to you. And one thing I always go back to again and again, and some people will comment on it, like, Father, we kind of get tired of hearing that, but I don't care, is that, you know, the Mass is not really about our particular taste in music, uh, you know, the priest homily is good, all those other things. It's about something much more. It's the fact that heaven comes to earth, and as we probably heard also many times, it represents Christ's sacrifice on Calvary and makes those graces accessible to us here and now, most especially through the Eucharist by which he feeds us with his body and blood, if we're in a worthy state, receive him at that Mass. But the Mass does what it says it does, which it, you know, it bestows salvific grace, it bestows the grace of salvation into our lives. It further builds upon the grace that we received in baptism, confirmation, and ultimately, again, as it brings heaven to earth, meaning that it brings God into our experience. It brings all the angels, all the saints into our everyday experience that we can't see those realities that take place whenever we're at Mass, but it does what it says it does. It wins for us the grace of salvation, and that's why we offer Masses for deceased members of our families oftentimes. That's why most often Mass is offered for the dead, so that if there's any need for further purification on their part, if there's any further need for them to be purified of their sins, as they are aided on their journey to heaven, the Mass aids that process. It helps us to grow up in the Lord, so to speak, as we become to that full maturity in Christ so that we can stand before our Lord and Savior and be able to enter into the full experience of eternal life. And I think that that's also important why I've kind of sadly seen, you know, another reason for making this video in particular, because I've sadly seen a lot more people who are no longer having funeral masses. And whether that's their choice or whether that's their family's choice, it's neither here nor there. But I would encourage you that if you are, if I would encourage all of you, you know, all of you who are Catholic, to make it very, very clear to your family members that you want a funeral mass, that you want a mass of Christian burial. And you can make that clear in your will, you can make that clear within your funeral home, but also, you know, and often in some parishes do this, you can also put that on file at the parish. So that way, if we see like, wait, their family's doing a funeral service, I felt they won the funeral mass, we can advocate for you a little bit. And even if you're someone who doesn't practice all that often, and you have a family member who does, you know, they have like a, a mother, a father, you know, somebody else that, you know, passes away, and you know that they're practicing Catholic, even if you don't think it's a big deal, I'd encourage you still to do that because Mass does what it says it does. It obtains for us eternal salvation. And so I still think it's valuable for us, not, I don't, I don't just think it's valuable, it is valuable in and of itself, for Mass to take place for the repose of your soul. Funeral Mass is not a celebration of life. Celebration, you know, Funeral Mass is not just about remembering the dead. It's much more. It's meant to help the person that has passed away to go to their eternal rest in Christ. It's meant to be kind of a aid in their journey over to the other side to help them on their way to heaven because none of us are perfect when we die. None of us, well, Mary was perfect when she died, but some of us are going to need purification. Not many of us are going to be the great saints who died and then could go straight to heaven. A lot of us are still going to be clinging to certain sinful tendencies, have certain attachments in this life that we need to be purified of and that we need to be, well, detached from. And so it's important for us to continue to pray for the dead and most especially, I think, to have a funeral mass. It also, also aids the family that remains behind. We also pray for them. So the graces of the mass also help family members, those loved ones who, that we remain behind, gives them graces to be consoled, to be comforted during that time, but also hopefully also the graces that maybe they too can turn them, that they have not been living the best life, the grace to a conversion back to the faith or if they are practicing the faith to go deeper and to allow the experience of, the pa of that passing of a loved one to draw them into a de deeper relationship with God, deeper relationship with Christ. And so I think it's important to recognize that 
the spiritual benefits that come from Mass are something we can't always articulate, we can't see, we can't observe. And as a result, I think sometimes it kind of gets pushed off the side, but the Mass does what it says it does. It bestows graces upon God's people. It continues to represent Calvary and continues to make the graces which are infinite that the Lord won for us on the cross available to us in here and now to deliver us from sins, to experience His mercy, to resist temptation in the future, to live a life of virtue, and then ultimately for the dead to help aid them on their entryway into eternal life. And so I just want to reiterate that I think it's immensely important. That's why the Mass matters, and I think that's especially why the funeral Mass matters. So, uh, yeah, I would just encourage you, obviously, to have a funeral Mass. encourage you to go to Mass uh, if you haven't been going back already. Um, come back. It's great. It's wonderful, and it's an essential experience for the life of any Catholic that desires to grow in virtue and to become a saint.